desire of beauty. Goddess of fortune. According to folklore legend, anyone touched by Araro will be rewarded with seven years of prosperity. This is Guadalupe, Araro. Um, you're the son of Ade Love. I mean, a lot of people in Nigeria know who Ade Love is. Um, what I can remember is that he was a, a theatre practi practitioner yeah. and became a filmmaker. So tell us a little bit about you know, the history of your father's um, career in the film industry in Nigeria and how that influenced your choices to become a filmmaker and an actor. Well, um, my father belonged to that school of the um, Yoruba Travelling Theatre, uh, which um, was set in the late 60s you know, stroke early 70s. And then we had the likes of um, uh, Ojola Dekpo, we had um, Hiba Tokunde, um, Drola Dekpo, mm -hmm. um, you know, Ogumala, and I mean, a lot of them. Um, the film, crossing from theater to the film, um, I think started in, in the 70s, I think 1976 to be precise. Okay when Dr. Labalogo um, invited my father to be part of his film titled Ajaniogu. Um, Ajaniogu um, was produced and directed by Labalogo. And after then, then my father decided to, you know, like deviate a bit from the theater, the traveling theater to making film. Mm -hmm. And um, he shot his first film titled The Joe Minera, you know, in that, um, I think 1978 or thereabout. Okay. Okay. Um, so, how did his career influence your choices to become a filmmaker? Was mm. it just a natural progression? Because your father was in that. Well, I will say yes, and I'll say no. I'll say yes because uh, I got to learn a whole lot while growing up because mm -hmm. I was part of the business. I was. Um, involved in the business aspect of filmmaking, okay. Maybe not the technical and not the you know, creativity aspect. But after the films were made, um, I'm one of those who usually travel with my father's film to different destinations to have them screened. So I was into the business aspect. And I would say no, because while growing up, I never thought I was going to be a filmmaker. Oh, wow. Because okay. my father never encouraged it. Mm -hmm. um, it's all, he's always saying that um, filmmakers go through a whole lot and mm -hmm. they don't have money, mm -hmm. you know, and um, the only legacy every child needs is good education, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, so he's always discouraging us. But, you know, after I passed on and um, I just figured that, yeah, I studied business administration as first course uh, and I just figured Nigeria film industry has really changed from what used to happen in the mm -hmm. past and there was need for you know a change and you know instead of condemning i decided to be part of it and you know contribute my own little quota so that's why um that's how i i i started and um up till now it's i think it's the only thing i know how to do you know mm, i wouldn't uh, say that because you're a banker by trade right yeah but banking yeah the pay was good but I wasn't fulfilled. Maybe it's because I'm, I'm a creative person, you know, and every creative mind will always wander around you. Mm -hmm. You're not fulfilled until you do that thing that, mm -hmm. you know, um, you derive joy from, you know. So, but what, I've, what I was able to learn in the bank, I've been able to blend it with what I'm doing right yeah, now. Yeah. And it's helping, it's, 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 a, it's been helpful in the business aspect of filmmaking. Okay. So so just tell us a little bit about how you actually got into the industry. I know you acted in one of uh, Tunde Kudalani's films. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, in, in 1997, um, there was a film produced by Tadio Guido titled O Stages. And, um, you know, I saw the film and I saw this actor, Tokwa Ido, you know, and I said to myself, look, I can actually do better than this guy, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, and uh, I approached 
one or two producers, but none of them seemed to give me that, uh, you know. So I went to Tony Kilani because I grew up seeing him on my father's test set, you oh, know, okay. as part of the crew. So, so I went to him and I said to him that um, I'd like to be a filmmaker. I didn't even tell him I want to be an actor. And he said to me, look, that your father was a filmmaker doesn't make you one because mm -hmm. um, filmmaking is something you need to be trained, you know, for. But, you know, you can start as an actor, you know. And then um, he said to me that when, whenever they have a production, they will call me. So when they were going to shoot Shower they, they invited me for audition. And um, DK and Biodun Aleja assessed me and, um, you know, did their normal casting stuff. and. I was selected, so that's how I started acting. Um, but when I started acting, it was the same. I think a year before, I, I mean, a year after was when I entered into the bank, so I couldn't really do much. Okay. I was doing a little bit. I featured in Tunic Lani's um, other film, Agogwewa, which is a sequel to Shawaroide, and um, a few other home video. And um, in 2005, I resigned from the bank and went to school. New York Film Academy okay. to study um, digital filmmaking. Went back home and set up a small production office. The first film, Irapada, yeah. um, was shown at the Women of Color Arts and Film Festival in Atlanta. Yeah. And now, this is your second feature film, yeah. um, The yes. Figurine, Araro Mire. So it gives, give us a little bit of history as to how that film came about. Well, the, the, the Araro Mire was something we've been working on for about four years. Um, the scripts, we started working on the scripts like four years ago, and um, we have different version of the same scripts. We were meant to shoot that before Araquada, but because we figured that one, the budget was higher, then two, it's a story that is either you do it well or you don't do it at all. So we took our time in raising fund. We took our time in selecting the right cast and crew, you know. Um, the original title was actually um, The Shrine. Mm -hmm. um, but that title, the figurine, was um, picked by M.M. Emma. And um, the one, Arara Mary, was picked by Kemi Adesoye, who was the original screenwriter okay. of the version we eventually shot. Femi is a, is a, she's an award-winning scriptwriter in Nigeria. She's mm -hmm. won a couple of awards. Um, and raising fund to shoot it was pretty difficult. Uh, but you know, today we look at it, and all we can do is just smile. Um, I think what what really what has you know brought us to where we are today is the dedication and the fact that I have people of like minds who just feel that the Nigeria film industry needs to be revolutionized and um, you know um, we're not regretting you know you know taking the risk because it was actually a risk okay like most films that most people <laughs> yeah. Folklore, fairy tales.